What's up, everybody? Joel, a.k.a. Pyro Slayer TV, here with you now. It's just you, me, and these wooden walls behind me. Today, we're going to be breaking down my top five hated bands. And the reasoning for this is uh, I had a Slayathon back uh, a, a month or so ago that went really well. And one of the goals on there, if it was hit, I would break down my top five most hated bands and my fop, top five most loved bands. And we're going to start with the hated. So I'm trying my best to rate or kind of put these in an order of worst to best um, out of the hated. And uh, let's just get this started with an easy one. The Lost Prophets. Uh, I've never been a fan of The Lost Prophets. Uh, never really got into their music. People seem to like it. I never could get into it. Don't know why. Um, and then the lead singer did some absolutely terrible shit. And I mean terrible. Uh, they can't express how bad this stuff is. And I'm not going to go into a lot of details here, but I am going to read a part of a BBC article here uh, talking about what he did and give you some reasons uh, on top of me not really liking their music. Why? Yeah. He admitted uh, conspiring to the R word of a child, three counts of sexual assault involving children in seven included, including talking, making or possessing indecent images of children. And one of, of the possessing an extreme pornographic image involving an, a sex act on an animal. Um, he was sentenced to uh, 35 years. Um, he basically pleaded guilty to 13 child uh, sex offenses. And um, like, that's fucking despicable. Despicable. I can't even. It pisses me off every time we talk about this. Uh, but we're, so we're going to move on. I don't want to give this band a whole lot of airtime, obviously. And to another band that I don't want to give a lot of airtime to, uh, Blood on the Dance Floor. Um, I don't even know where to start with this band. They, I, oh, fuck, wait, they were like hyper-sexualized pop music. Uh, they were like an electronic group. And again, the lead singer has had many, many alleged uh, offenses due to sexual stuff and R words uh, of women. And uh, nothing has really been established, but there's been a lot of accusations. Um, on top of that, their music is fucking trash. So regardless of the controversies uh, of the allegations, I think it speaks volumes that no one will work with him. Uh, so when the people around you are also getting this, you know what I mean? It, there, it's showing. It, like sometimes when some of these things, uh, the allegations break out, you have people that at least come out and support them. And you're like, okay, well, this obviously should be left to a court. Um, and it always should be left to a court. I shouldn't say that. But um, yeah, this in, in this case, it was there's a lot of allegations. And the more allegations I see, Ugh. And seeing their music, it doesn't really help them. Uh, anybody, just go out and watch a Blood on the Dance Floor video, and you'll see for yourself why I hate them so much. Uh, and technically, if it wasn't for the outrageous, fucked up shit from the Lost Prophet lead singer, this band would be number one, because their mu music is utter garbage. Awful. Okay? Number three. Rapper... Producer, fashion designer, Kanye West. I liked this man's music a lot as a younger adult. Uh, I grew up listening to those classic albums that he dropped, and I personally think he's let ego just absolutely eat him up inside. Um, he has created this weird echo chamber around himself of people that won't tell him when he's in the wrong. And uh, it's bad. It's really bad. He's put out utter fucking trash for a long time. And uh, it's, it's been bad. These last prior albums, I don't even know how you can call it music. It's really, really bad. And then the things he's said as a person are reprehensible, to say the least. Uh, he, he, I don't really understand why there are still people around him working with him 
but I kind of feel it's probably due to him being wealthy, right? Uh, and people can make money by working with him. So I think that's kind of what's going on there, but it's, it's, I don't understand. It's really sad to see in general. I never really thought he was a, a kind person by any means, right, with the Taylor Swift thing, but that was just the start for me. Uh, I am a Swifty, but not huge, huge Swifty, but I am a Swifty. And um, I thought that was shit was nasty. And then what him and Kim did with the uh, the whole uh, bitch thing was also nasty. And, uh, yeah, I really, this dude soured. He's, he just comes off as a giant asshole. And then, yeah, yeah, oof, not a fan. Little Pump is my number four. And, uh, listen, Little Pump, <laughs> a skit it. It, it. That was a fun one. And I thought that was fun. And then I started listening to some of his music and I was, listen, uh, uh, it's, it's bad. It's pretty bad. And then when you take your bad music and then you add your heavy on the MAGA shit, any political stuff in general, like typically if you're like, oh, yeah, I'm a Democrat or oh, yeah, I'm a Republican in your song, uh, it's fucking stupid. If you're giving me a reason, like you're breaking down why you feel a certain way, I can respect that. But like, it, that's not anywhere to be seen in Little Pump's music. It's pretty bad. It's it's pretty bad. Let's just say that. Uh, but even funnier, uh, then it then people found out that he's not even registered to vote. <laughs> So it's, it's, I don't know. I don't understand it myself, but it is what it is like. And then my fifth one, and I've saved this one for last because there's honestly not a whole lot of reason for me to hate this band. Um, just a band that I've really disliked since I was a child. And it's the overall sound. Um, God, this one's going to get some hate, but uh, it is what it is. Cause really it's undeserved. I th I think Tool. Tool is definitely in my top five. I've tried to hide this from you guys as in, in the public for a long time just because uh, Tool haters get a lot of hate. And um, on top of that, you guys have a way of weaponizing uh, things we say that we don't like. And I will not be shocked to see our Patreons request some Tool music after hearing this. I find it long, boring, and it is honestly the reason that I grew to hate instrumentals. I, I do not like Tool. I, I will say the cross-dressing shit they do on stage is punk as fuck. And they seem to have, like, good heads on their shoulders, right, from, from the little I've heard. Um, but their music is, is not for me. Maybe I need to do some DMT to fucking uncomprehend it. I don't know. But it's just, it's never popped for me. And yeah, so they, they've they made it on my top five. And I think that's a lifelong, uh, that's one I've been harboring for about 20 years. You know what I mean? I've been like, I was a kid when I started this hatred. And time and time again, every four to five years, I try to go back and listen to um, some of their music and try to develop some kind of taste because that's how it always works for me uh, with bands I dislike, like System of a Down. I really disliked System of a Down growing up as well. And the more I listened to them, the I came around, right? There were some songs I found that I respected them for. And uh, I was like, damn, the, the, I, maybe my hatred is not justified. Uh, but with Tool, I have not found any reason to stop my hatred for Tool. Uh, it, it, it all sounds the same to me. It's long. It's boring. Please don't hate me. But yeah, that is my top five most hated artists out there. And uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, a, a, a video that's uh, a little negative, but it, it's okay. We're going to put out a top five. And I'll break down why, but at least now you guys know where I stand taste wise and kind of how I feel about some of these bands. Obviously, some of them were kind of a cheat because of things that their members have done, but the blood on the dance floor, I will stand. I will fucking die on the hill. That is blood on the dance floor's music is the worst shit out there. I would la rather listen to Grant McDonald's 
rapgod.xxxx, then listen to that shit. Okay? Now that's all. That's all. Hope you guys enjoy my video. And until next time, peace out. <laughs>